fair to say at that it's point weird, you didn't know it? where she was? I knew that she was on White Rock. Yeah, these two are a weird combination going back and forth because, you know, it's like Daryl feels some type of way that this man was around his girlfriend. Like, just period. That's what that is. He feels like he got challenged. He don't like the fact that somebody was sticking up for Erica. He don't like it. And this guy's just dramatic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Do you Alma. see in this video uh, your friend Miss Patterson walking back in the direction that she had just come from? I see her on the phone talking to someone, which I assume would be me, telling me Mr. where she. Mr. Kirby, I'm just gonna. I need you to answer the specific question that's being asked at the moment, okay? All right. Thank you. Yes, I see her on White Rock on the phone, walking back in the direction she was originally. Again, you're not gonna object from. to this line of questioning unless the defendant can. Put this witness there. I don't know what the relevance of this testimony is. Well, the exhibit it. has been received. It's been published previously. Absolutely. So I'm going to give exist. Mr. Brooks some leeway here. Um, oh, oh. At, I would like you to get to where you um, need to go, though. That was the next one. At, the, at this point in, Bob, Bob. in the video, has you yet come into a range where you can, you and your mutual friend, Corey, had you yet come Aww. into a range where you can see Ms. Like Patterson Adrian? at that point? Corey was the one that spotted her first. Could you yourself see her at that point? I heard her scream. That's what, that's what caught my attention. And I was still on the phone with her while going down White Rock Avenue. Even while I was talking to the officer, I said, I'm on the phone with her right now. I'm trying uh -huh. to figure out where she is. And what happened? Can you please call for backup? Okay. So we continued down White Rock. Okay. To then look at Miss Patterson. Okay. <coughs> look at Daryl's face. Would it be fair to say that in the phone call you received, she told you where she was at, and that's the area that you were generally responding to with your uh, mutual friend, Corey? Ms. Patterson doesn't know Waukesha. I knew the area she was talking about because I live in that area. Would it be fair to say that you just testified to when you had the interaction with law enforcement that you uh -huh. stated you're on the phone with her right now trying to figure out where she was? I know, Kevin. So would it be fair to say at that point you didn't know where she was? I knew that she was on White Rock. Yeah, these two are a weird combination going back and forth because, you know, it's like, it's like, I know what Daryl's, what, what's going on with Daryl. Daryl feels some type of way that this man was around his girlfriend. Like, that's <laughs> just period. That's what that is. He feels like he got challenged. He don't like that. You know what I'm saying? He don't like that. He don't like the fact that somebody was sticking up for Erica. He don't like it. And this guy's just dramatic. You know what I <laughs> Nicholas is dramatic as hell. He's like, you know, he's like, he, if he told a story about something, I feel like he would just be extra dramatic in all the details. He would be like, man, we was, he jumped over a bush. He would tell the story like he climbed over the, the, the oldest elk. You know, like <laughs> I climbed up the tree. It was like the equivalent of 70 stories high. <laughs> and then I just slid down. <laughs> I didn't get one splinter. It just, it just seems like that's who he is. I didn't know exactly where or how or how far down on White Rock she was at that point in time. At that specific time, I did not know. It wasn't well, until Darryl, I seen a red like... SUV parked in front of the apartment <laughs> buildings on White Rock that I figured that might be the one that she was in. It was Corey who spotted her across from the road. From we're paused at the one minute and forty seven second mark of this video. <laughs> it, it's a little hard to see. There, you tell me Can huge. you point out? In what area the red apartment you're referring to might might be? It's a touch it's, it's a touch screen. So you can, yeah. um, I don't know. You can make an arrow. Like Daryl got this weird face it's like this. <laughs> Daryl be catching flies. Okay. This is the entrance. This is the entrance to White Rock Elementary. Across the street, and up 20, 30 feet, there's an intersection leading from an apartment. You catching the flies, Daryl? Is she is she catching the flies? You gonna catch something to come out of bubbles fly? In a minute, mm, bam. We're building to the White Rock campus. That would be up here in this it's a light bouton. general corner, right here. This whole area. Would it be fair to say? Thank you, Lee. That I was just about to ask. From that. where we're paused at in the video, we can't tell if there's wow. any vehicle parked in that general area. You literally just played the video where the vehicle Just answer the around. question, sir. Oh, damn. No, you cannot see it from this angle. Um, can we please clear the uh yeah, the answer is hilarious between these two. Would it be fair to say that monkey see where the video is paused do. now that Miss <laughs> Patterson is not or who you identified as Miss Patterson is not inside of a vehicle? She is not inside of a vehicle in this video, no. Can we play it from one minute and forty seven seconds? Go ahead. Look at Erica, her little fast walking self. <laughs> 
Pause there. At this point, had you uh, come into a range where you can see Ms. Patterson at that point? No. The record video is paused at 2.13. I'm sorry. I'm not here it's at right. 2.13. Keep going. And you made reference to uh, your friend Corey spotting her first. Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> Corey had said that she thought she had seen her across the street. And we looked and we crossed the street once and then we crossed the street back over. Then we crossed again for a final time. That was until later when the incident with Mr. Brooks took, uh, took, took, took place. Took and place. at this point, walking place. with your yeah. uh, friend Corey, had <laughs> she alerted you to spotting Miss Patterson at that point? Sammy. She said she's over here. Uh, she must be out of his car now or something. She said something along the lines of that. So we went across the street and there was Miss Patterson hobbling down the street uh, with a boot on her leg. You made reference Aww. to... Why she have a boot Corey on her leg, She must Darryl. be out of his car now. Daryl, why she do, had a boot? Do you know as... You were walking with your friend Corey. Do you know if she observed Miss Patterson being in a vehicle at that point? That's she hearsay. was with me when the phone call came. So I assume that when someone tells me that they're in a vehicle, then they are in a vehicle. That does not mean that they would be in a vehicle by the time I got there. I was on foot and I wasn't walking. I was running. See, look, he being dramatic again. I was Can running to save the day. <laughs> two, two, thirteen. Hard to see down in that corner. Look at this. It's too hilarious. Oh. Hold on, let it play. Okay. Pause right there. Is that 409? Yes. Um, would it be fair to say we see some individuals walking right here? Are you oh my God. To see that in the he video? really just yeah, circled these children. At Look out, lady. Daryl's coming to try to knock your children up. Because you know that's what Daryl like to do. He like to hang out on the playground and grab up little girls and impregnate them <laughs> in hopes he can find a home to live in, you know? Like, if I knock her up with my child, she got to let me in too, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That didn't work out, did it, Daryl? You had five, four kids. I was still in a car. How rejected must you feel? At that time, had you come close enough to the scene where you can observe any individuals in that area? I don't remember the people that were in that area. I was only focused on the one, and that was the one in danger. Could you know? So could you at that point? Observe Miss Patterson. Honestly, everybody was in danger. From a my stand, from my point on the street, from where I was at that time, yeah. there was a Daryl afoot. Okay, everybody was in danger. Everybody. Yeah, Funny. where is where is Paul's dad now? During a parade? No. Can can we clear the uh, circle? But I um, please, you bastard. We observed at some point Miss Patterson <laughs> crossing over to the opposite side of the road. Yes. Did you did you see that? Yes. I, I was on the phone with her at that point. I think. That Could you observe from coming down White Rock? Can you observe that from where you were at that time? I was at the intersection of White Rock and Hartwell when she said that she was by some red apartment buildings. Mm -hmm. Could you see her from that position? No, not from that far down. Can we play from four to four on Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's going to matter. <laughs> Stop chasing them little girls. Those are babies, Daryl. Pause right there. It's on a circle that need two humans. Uh, 14, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You see the two individuals here? Yep. Do you know who those individuals are? It's me and Miss Corey. So at 409. Mm hmm. Like the to cleaner. 418, you were able to come into view of Miss Patterson at that point? No, I wasn't. I was on my phone trying to call her back to find out where she was. Can we clear this circle? Thank you. You're going to stop trying to bark orders. I know that, girl. So at, the, so at this point right here with the video is paused, 4, 418, you weren't able to observe Miss Patterson on White Rock Avenue at that point? I, I, I asked the answer. Nope, I didn't huh? see shit. Overruled oh, the witness may answer. Tell him you ain't I was not looking nothing. ahead of me. As you can tell by the video, I was looking at my phone trying to call Miss Patterson back because she was not answering her phone. That scared me. So I told Corey to keep an eye out looking and look for her as I tried to keep calling her. When I looked up and we got past the White Rock Elementary School sign, that was when I seen her. Would it be fair to say that judging from the video, the White Rock, are you referring, let me back up. Are you referring to the sign right here that says White Rock Campus? I'm referring to where the end of the school building itself meets the driveway or the road that's that's there there's um, a turn off road i apologize can we take that x oh my god if any of this mattered daryl it would be just a uh, miraculous okay if any of these things you're talking about made a difference at all it would just be it would just be a miracle if only anyone gave a shit but they don't tragic from next to the white rock campus sign so can you point to exactly what, what you're referring to Yes, Cecilia, I know what the thing is that he does that just bothers the shit out of me every time he does it. It just doesn't make any sense, and he does it constantly. Would it be fair to fucking say? You're like, would it be fair to say 
that your name is Cecilia. Would it be fair to say that we are in a room right now? Would it be fair to say that I just asked you this question? Would it be fair to say that you just answered the question? Would it be fair to say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that he knows why he's saying it. So he just says it. He just Everything he says, he just starts. It's like how he starts a sentence. You know, it's like that game. What's that game where you go, Simon says, would it be fair to fucking say? So I'm going I'm I'm to pose that question. Of all the annoying phrases Daryl repeated over and over, which one made people the craziest? Y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all tell me. So that intersection is Good where question. I just drew that little X. That intersection cuts across from the other side of White Rock to the other side and leads to the... Um, Leads to a road, but also there's a frame park area there, and I believe there's a boat launch there somewhere. I don't know. At that point, you were able to observe Miss Patterson. I observed her walking when Corey was had told me that she had seen her, and so we grabbed her and started to leave to turn around. At that point in time, an officer was coming to Frame Park because of the report that I had given. So you observed Miss Patterson walking and not inside of a vehicle. At that point in time, no. No, as in? As in she was not in a vehicle at that point in time when we came, when we finally came upon her. Girl like so that. when, so when, if at any time did you observe Miss Patterson inside of a vehicle? When she was going back into his vehicle to get her things or whatever it was that she was trying to pull out of his car, her phone or something or whatever. Can we play a video from 418? Go I'm, ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we clear the uh, X? Continuing to from 418. It's at 421, but go ahead. We'll pause right here. Is it fair to say from it stopped at four minutes and thirty eight seconds? Is it fair to say from the video that two people right there are crossing the road? Yes. Oh my God, really, Daryl? Do you know the identity of those two people? That's me and Miss Corey. Would it be fair to say that at that time you observed Miss Patterson? That was when I first noticed the red Jeep or red SUV, whatever you want to call it, across the street. Grams. We had zigzagged up White Rock going between the side, going from one side to another, looking for Erica. When we ended up on this side, the red SUV was parked in front of the apartment buildings. There was a tree here, and Miss Erica came from the passenger side of the vehicle around the back. That's when I heard her yell something. That's when I went over. You made reference to Miss Patterson coming from around the vehicle? Coming from the passenger side. So I had assumed that she had just gotten out of the vehicle. Do you know that for sure? If I didn't see her earlier when I was on White Rock or a vehicle earlier on White Rock, how could I know? Did you see her in in the vehicle at that time? I seen her come from around the vehicle. I am not actually sure if she was in the vehicle at that point in time. Thank I was you. just going by what she said over the phone. Okay. So my assumption is that she was in a vehicle. All right, next question. Okay. Look at Daryl. If it pleases if it pleases your honor, do we have a, a, a better view of this of this point in particular? I don't know. Maybe on um exhibit three might be a, a better view of you need to know what you're looking this, for. Ain't nobody got time to a specific part. spot to direct the state to, then I will have them do that. But can we can we view uh, exhibit three? Do you have a specific spot to direct the state to on exhibit three? I'm, I'm not sure. It, it's been, I don't know how long since we viewed that exhibit. I don't know how long it is. Yeah, now he wants some mercy. And fuck you. You got to tell me specifics or shut the hell up. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. Look at this face. Daryl got all this fucking face and that tiny ass little fucking body. That is way too much face for you, honey. I'm just reviewing my notes. If there's a specific spot that you recall, I might be able to direct the state to that. But you'll have to give me a little more information. Okay. I think that's why I was uh, stating about the, the length of the video. I'm pretty, sure I can come. I'm pretty sure I would know the exact spot. I don't know how long that video is. It's towards the end of it. I know that for sure. Can you ask your next question? I'm, you need to be able to tell the state with more specificity which part of which exhibit and at what point. Well, I know the exhibit, I just, the exhibit would be three. And the spot, judging on the length of the exhibit, would be towards the end of the exhibit. And you sure it's exhibit three? No. Um, that would be a no. Be, that would be, be a no. Uh, white right. That would be a no, Your Honor. No, I'm not sure. I don't know where it is, but I would like for y'all to do is just play whatever I say, and if it ain't there and I change my mind, play the other thing and do that for a thousand years worth of time. <laughs> and then I would like to call for time served. <laughs> I know I nailed it, Daryl. I ain't even gonna fucking ask you, okay? I know that. I know that I nailed it, okay? Everyone needs to work for me. I know that's right. I don't know where it is. And why should I? It's hilarious. Door one, correct? That's my understanding. 
right, so we're done with this exhibit. Why you ain't got your mask on talking to him, Daryl? Explain yourself. All right, turn that off. I'm gonna just ask the state to just pre preview to the parties. We'll see if we can find it quickly <coughs> on exhibit three. Yes, just, so it's... Looks like it's four. Yeah, about 4.14, a little, a little over four minutes. Um, so I'm, I would say around about the 3.30ish mark, if that helps. Well, we're gonna just show it to you in the state, and if it helps you, then you can ask this witness a question about it, otherwise we're gonna move on. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna get mad, Daryl? You ain't gonna I would say take it back to like about 3.15. This is the footage, though, you're looking yes, for? Yes, this, this is the footage, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you see it? Do you see it? Is it the smoking gun? Oh, is that the thing that you used on start? your neck? Actually. <laughs> Daryl in here looking for the smoking gun on this screen, honey. If they bring that thing in there, it's just gonna be evidence used it in you in that other trial. Okay, with your nephew. Just go three minutes, exactly. This is yeah, exactly the video. He this stole has it. Previously That's been right. received. Why don't we watch it from this point forward and then ask your questions? But That's before it's played, wait right. for the jury. Or... Go ahead. Tell me what you want to do. That was a mistake on our part. It's just uh, you in front sure? of you and the witness at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's fine right now. Um, well, I don't want to have to play it twice for the jury. So if you're oh. going to question him, let's show it. It's already been admitted. So should should it just publish now? Why don't we just... publish it from this point, play it, and you can ask the witness questions regarding it, okay? Okay. All right, so it's at three okay. minutes. <clears throat> play about a minute and 14 seconds to get from this point to the end. So are we publishing or? Yes, we'll publish oh. now. Jury, you can let me know when it's on the monitors in the jury box. That may take a little longer. Do you, uh... Yeah. Right now it's paused at three minutes. Does looking at this video right now uh, bring any re recollection of that day back to you? Yeah. Oh yeah, the public and servant stuff. Using that's the touch screen, can you identify? Yeah, that's a good one. The public servant stuff that Daryl would say, like you're a public servant, your honor. That literally that's like she's supposed to serve him. I think that's what he thinks that means. <laughs> if you see yourself in this video, can you identify where you are? I'm right here. And Crystal, can you identify who the other person is that's shown on the exhibit? That's Miss Corey. Uh, you can play for Daryl. Right is there. Big gum gum. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, before before yeah, we play, gum gum. Could you see uh from right there where you are? Can you see Miss Patterson? Where her position is at that point? No. Can we play it from right there? Go ahead. Is he can we pause? Um. It's fair to say that we can see you and Miss Corey running towards the area of the vehicle that just stopped. Is yes. that fair to say? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you where was Miss Patterson at this time, if you recall? At that point in time, she had met up with Corey. Corey had, gotten, had walked ahead of me, and her and I were looking for her. I didn't see her right away. Corey did. And she said, she just told me she's in a red car. So that's what we were looking for. At that time, was Miss Patterson inside of the vehicle? I do not recall. But what I do recall is... The owner of the vehicle getting out of the vehicle, and that became my primary oh, concern. So fast, a little bit. We observed the two, you, you and Miss Corey, running towards the area of the vehicle. Why so? Why such the urgency? Miss <laughs> Patterson is a mutual friend of ours. She said she was in trouble. I don't play around when people are in trouble. Can we play it from? It's paused at three minutes and eight seconds. Can we play a little bit of it from here? Go ahead. Can you see Miss Patterson? Uh, it's paused at three minutes and eleven seconds. Do you see Miss Patterson in in this video? Yes. It's paused at right now. Yes. Is she inside the vehicle? <laughs> No, she is not. Had you seen her before that? Corey had spotted her, not me before that. She did. But it is fair to say that you're that you're also in the area at I that am time, correct? Not in this general frame, no. I'm not, not, not the, the frame. not the not the video, but you are present on the scene. Would that oh, be yes. fair to say? Yes. And what happened at this point, if I, you recall? At this point there was a physical altercation between Mr. Brooks and Miss Corey. Marilyn. And Miss Erica. I was more worried about Miss Patterson being hurt. So I went for her to get her out of the way. I stepped between them as best I could, and I told Mr. Brooks he needs to leave. He needs to get out of here. Does not belong out here. Do you recall uh, if there was a knife involved at that time? No. That is a miscommunication, and I will clarify that. The Monday... Wait. Hold on, there's not a question. He'll, <laughs> okay. he'll ask the questions. I appreciate that, but let just answer the questions that are asked at this point. Go ahead. I get my feet cold. I wear socks everywhere all the time. <laughs> Did you at any point during this... Uh, did you at any point during this altercation, did you observe Miss Patterson get back into the vehicle at that point? I observed her reaching into the vehicle for something. I don't know if she was grabbing a purse or something or whatnot. She I, she was grabbing something of her personal property out of the vehicle did you observe while her, this was going on. Did you observe her get into the vehicle? No. Can we play it from 3 minutes and 11 seconds? You see yourself come into the frame in this vehicle? At yes. Point? Would that be you there? Yes. It would be fair to say that you had uh, some type of jacket on or a black jacket? At one that, point, that yes. 
What happened to your jacket at that point? That jacket hit the ground as soon as Mr. Brooks started going for the two women. So you, you threw the jacket off? Mm-hmm. Was that a yes? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And what was your reason for throwing your jacket off? Well, the court don't hate me for it. Um, I'm just going to say it's a good thing that there were two women in my way at that point in time. And what do you mean by that? That means when my jacket comes off, trouble's going to happen. Oh, here we go Especially with if you're drama. trying to assault a woman. Look at him. In front of me. So that, that gesture was an aggressive gesture? Oh, that was a completely <clears throat> focused gesture. Well, you did make reference to... Would it be fair to say that you just made reference to trouble following you throwing off your jacket? No, not trouble following me. Well, maybe that's the wrong way to put it, but... I'm confused by your question. Excuse me? Can you rephrase your question? Oh, I, I, I will. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You made reference to Wait, you're sorry, in trouble Darryl. when your jacket comes off. Is that fair to say? Yes. There he go. Is that fair to say? Bitch, you just heard what I said, okay? I don't know why you're saying is that fair to say. 